What up, what up, what up, what is going on ladies and gentlemen, it's your boy GS and welcome to the finale of the season, obviously, uh, well not obviously you guys, some guys might have missed the previous video, but week 17 is done, it's a wrap man, we went ahead and lost to the San Francisco 49ers in a very, very close game, a meaningless game, you know what I mean, it didn't affect anything whatsoever, but nonetheless, man, we uh, ended up losing to Team T-Bill in Week 17. So, we're going to go on ahead and show you the awards, all that fun stuff. So, here we go in the standings. Uh, you know, pay attention. Look for your favorite team, folks. The AFC, we have the top team as the Oakland Raiders at 13-3. and 11-5, the Bills, the Steelers at 11-4, the Chiefs at 10-5, and Chargers at 9-7, and the Titans just sneaking in with an 8-8 eight eight record. The NFC, we have yours truly, the Cardinals at 14 and 2, the league's best record by one game. The Eagles at 12 and 4, the Panthers at 12 and 4, the Seahawks at 10 and 6, and the Giants just sneaking in at 8 and 7. And uh, as you guys know, uh, well, maybe you wasn't paying attention, but bam, divisional game is against the Giants, so they did win their wild card matchup. So uh, that right there should be a fun game. That game will be out tomorrow. I uh, haven't played it yet. I'm actually going to. Uh, maybe live stream the game. Maybe live stream it tonight. Maybe I did it already. Maybe I'm live streaming now. I don't know. That's why you should follow twitch.tv slash Mr. Golden Spurs. That way you know this stuff, man. All right. So AFC Northman, 11 and 4, 7 and 9, 7 and 9, 6 and 8. Three teams with losing records. The Steelers pretty much dominated. Uh, does it show their division record? Uh, division record, 4 and 1 within the division with the tie, so uh, they dominated. AFC South, we have just assness. Eight and eight, <laughs> seven and nine, six and ten, four and twelve. Uh, the Titans winning the division with an eight and eight record. AFC East, uh, you know, tight. You know, Patriots and Jets seven and nine, Dolphins eight and eight, and the Bills clinching the division. AFC West, the Raiders dominated. The Chiefs also got into the playoffs. Just, you know, uh, same thing that happened this year, playoffs. Uh, three teams from the AFC West made the playoffs, except instead of the Raiders, it was the Chargers, Chiefs, and Broncos. The Broncos are sitting at 4-10, and 10, but three teams from the division going ahead and make the playoffs. So, NFC North, you have the Packers with a losing record making the playoffs. Uh, when was the last time that happened in the NFL? Wasn't that the Seahawks? And didn't they beat, wasn't, didn't they, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, maybe I'm wrong, I don't know, I'm not, I'm not too good with remembering stuff, uh, but didn't the Seahawks make the playoffs with a losing record, because they won a division like three, four years ago, the year after, maybe it was longer than, I don't know, I think it was Pete Carroll's first year, and, uh, they ended up beating the, the Saints in the first round of the playoffs, and they had won the Super Bowl the year before. Uh, maybe I'm wrong. I don't know, but that's that's what I remember. But nonetheless, Packers won the division seven and nine. NFC South, the Panthers twelve and four, seven and nine for the Saints six and ten, splitting with the Buccaneers and Falcons. NFC East twelve and four, eight and seven with the tie, eight and eight, and then six and seven. So two teams make the playoffs right there. And as I said already, uh, we're going ahead and face the Giants. NFC West, we got us. We're fourteen and two. Seahawks are six, ten and six. Excuse me. And then, uh, did I just mess that up? And then 49ers are 8-8, and, and then the Rams are 5-11. and 11. So let's go on ahead and look at uh, league leaders and all that other fun stuff. So uh, right now, first of all, let's look at our depth chart and see. Um, can we upgrade players? No, I don't think it's going to let me. So um, you guys can probably look at the very first video that I posted and take a look at the uh, the depth chart to see uh, who got better. I mean, I mean, ah, attribute-wise. So, Colin Kaepernick, 94 overall. Then we have DeMarco Murray. I only ran the ball with him like 70 times or something like that. Somebody said in the comment section, yo, GS, man, you throw so many interceptions because you never run the ball. That was the plan with this team, to never run the ball, just only, you know, pass the ball. Because all I did was run the first season with the Vikings. This season, all I wanted to do was pass. So, um, that's why I threw so many interceptions because I'm throwing like 70 times a game, man. Uh, yeah, uh, I, I make a lot of mistakes. <laughs> so, uh, fullback, uh, Hypnowski, Hynowski, isn't that, uh, I don't know, that name just looks like Hypno from Pokemon, Pokemon. Des Bryant's a 94, Austin's a uh, 92, Butler all the way up to a 79. I think he was like a 64 when I got him from free agency, so he's skyrocketed up in value since I got him. 
Momo didn't go down too much. Only in 84. He's, he got drafted at an 89. Of course, because his age, he declines very quickly. Um, in the other season, right, he went all the way down to like a 77 or something like that. So he didn't go down too much. Uh, we got Amendola, who uh, I don't. I think he went down as well. He doesn't get too much playing time. Gronkowski actually went up, I believe. I think he was like a 94 when we got him, maybe even a 92. Uh, he uh, had a tremendous year. We'll get into that in a second. So our line, uh, I'm not sure what anybody moved. I don't remember our line. I really didn't pay too much attention to uh, what drafted. Actually, the computer drafted all of our linemen. We got a rookie at 89, though? Dang, that's beast. Okay. Okay, Justin Pugh. We got Mario Williams with 11 sacks this year. Man, he put in work this year. Then we got Jordan at uh, 87. I believe Williams was a 90 when I got him, so I think he went up a couple points. D tackles, I think Rodgers went down a little and Cody went up a little bit. Linebackers, Kerrigan went up. I believe he was an 88 when he was when uh, we drafted him, so he went up just a little bit. Uh, Patrick Willis went absolutely nowhere, just 99 everywhere. This guy is such a monster. Uh, we got uh, Galette. I believe he was an 82. I think he only went up one point. Smith and Hall, I believe both of them were, I want to say like 87s when we got them. I think Hall went up one point. May, I'm not sure. Like Again, I, I don't remember. But Eric Reed definitely went up, and so did Elam. I believe uh, Elam was like an 80, and Reed was like an 82. So both of them definitely, or whatever they were, they definitely went up. So uh, we definitely got some players going up. So let's take a look at who won what awards, all that fun stuff. Let's take a look at Pro Bowls. This I didn't even actually look at. All right, let's go to uh, NFC. All right, the most votes for QB. We got my main man, Colin Kaepernick, starting the Pro Bowl, as he should. Man had a tremendous year, even though he threw mad interceptions. Still a tremendous year. Don't take none away from him. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Huh. So uh, running back, obviously, we didn't get anybody. Fullback, nobody. Wide receivers, nobody. Wow. We don't get any receivers. Tight end, we get my main man Gronk. Is that it? Oh, we got Adams and Booth and Meester. Meester, like Meester GS. Oh, and Randall. Oh, my entire starting lineup. The same as the Vikings. So this is the second year in a row. My entire front line makes the Pro Bowl. That's that's incredible. Uh defense alignment. We don't got anybody. I think that's it. Oh no, of course, of course, Pat Willis. Five million votes though. Is, is he leading everybody? And I think that's it. Yeah, that's it. Five mil. Is there anybody that has more than five million votes? I think Pat Willis has the more votes than anybody. By lots. Damn. Okay. I see you, Pat Willis. Let me see. Damn, everybody. Just nobody was more than three million here. Five million votes for Pat Willis. Jeez. That's a whole lot of votes. Let's take a look at AFC. We got Peyton Manning. We got Tom Brady in the Oakland Raider uniform, huh? We got Russell Wilson. What's what these over? Does it show the overalls? No, it doesn't. Okay. Uh, Dougie Dugs, Deshaun McCoy, Reggie Bush, Charles Clay. We got Charles, Antonio Brown. Two Raiders. Okay. Damn. So Santana Moss and Antonio Brown both made the playoffs. They must have had a big year. How many receivers are they taking? One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight receivers? Did we take that many? And I couldn't get one slot? One, two, three, four, five, six. They're cheating. They got like 15 receivers. How did they get so many receivers? Jeez. <laughs> oh, look at Roos staying with uh, his actual team right there. Cody Wallace. Damn, the Raiders are doing things. The Raiders got their entire line. Right tackle, right guard, center, left guard. Two left guards. How many guards are they possibly need yo damn yo i'm hoping to go up against the raiders in the super bowl i, I need to check to see if they won these raiders are beasting let me see if oh no, no, no they would have had a buy so they didn't play their game yet uh let's get into uh yearly awards all right so your nfl mvp goes to patrick willis and behind him was colin kaepernick so um i play second with kaepernick and we end up winning defensively with uh patrick willis his stats are absolutely just ridiculous man uh and i think that's it from my end but here's the top 10 all right here we go we got overalls tom brady 97 peyton manning 96 gino all the way up to a 90 philip rivers 89 freeman 90 
Russell Wilson 96, Shaw 85, and Martin at 95. All right, so coach of the year is yours truly, Bruce Arians, also a rookie coach, uh, I believe. So um, maybe not rookie year, but no, it should be because when I started the season, it says record was 0 0. So I'm pretty sure it's his first uh, coaching job, well, head coaching job. Anyways, it said he was 0 0 at the beginning of the year. AFC right here for uh, Offensive Player of the Year goes to Doug Martin, 95, McCoy's a 97, Flacco's a 94, Russell Wilson. Jake Locker's only an 83? Okay. Adrian Peterson, of course, 99. Defensive Player of the Year, DJ Williams, followed by Keekley, Darrell Washington. Damn, Derek Johnson's a 99. Justin Houston's 97. Offensive Rookie of the Year goes to EJ Manuel, who's at, sitting at 85. And uh, he has the best overall. Defensive Rookie of the Year is Sean Porter. Barcavius Mingo, 91. Damn. 91, and he's a rookie. 96. Deion Jordan is a 96 overall? Damn. Remind me to draft him. 96 overall as a rookie. Jeez. Quarterback is Peyton Manning. I mean, uh, Tom Brady, excuse me, followed by Peyton Manning. No shockers here as far as overalls. Flacco's pretty high, same as Aaron Rodgers. Uh, best running back. Uh, yeah, we went through all that stuff already, right? All right, yes, we did. So let's take a look at the NFC. See what we got here. Best QB, Colin Kaepernick. No surprise there. <laughs> we have, uh, okay, Phillip Rivers, Geno, Drew Brees, RG3 is a 96. Best running back, Marshawn, 95. Jamal Charles, 97. Trent Richardson's a 95. Trent Richardson killed us in the games that we played. He destroyed us. He probably got top five for uh, best running back just by facing us alone. All of his games facing us alone. Ray Rice, 95. Okay. Wide receiver, Calvin Johnson. Wait till y'all see his stats, man. That dude went off this year. Wes Welker's a 99 overall, y'all. Wesley Welker is a 99 overall. That is correct. Wes Welker is the same overall as Calvin Johnson. I think they're the only two 99 overalls in the game. Crazy, right? Best offense alignment. You will figure because our entire starting lineup is going to the Pro Bowl that we would have more than one Kevin Booth here. But unfortunately not. Best defense alignment. I think we got Mario Williams just to sneak in at the very end. He had a very, very spectacular year. Uh, had way more sacks than I thought I would get from a defensive lineman. Uh, best defensive backs. Uh, do we get anybody? No, we don't. Eric Berry, 96. Deshaun Ghost in 97. He stayed with the Bucks. We actually played the Bucks, and Deshaun Ghost had a great game. Patrick Peterson. Best kicker. Yeah, that, yeah, we didn't get that. <laughs> so that's it, man. That's it for that. Let's go on ahead. Like I said, man, get into the, uh, the, uh, oh, I wasn't the yearly awards. I done messed up, though. <laughs> So MVP and Coach of Years. Yeah, so that's it. That's everything. That's everything we went ahead and uh, went through. Now let's take a look at uh, league leaders, your statistic leaders, and all that fun stuff. So now we're going to go to... Uh, oh, we can't progress players. Okay. We'll auto-do that. Look at look at that uh, offensive rank, 29. Not, not, not so bad. And defensive rank, again, is only first because... Uh, the computer, their gameplay is simulated at 12 minutes. Mine, I play, is uh, 6 minutes. So, half the time, that's why, you know, I give up half of the yards, all that, you know, all that other stuff. So, that's why um, that's number one. So, uh, all right, let's take a look at uh, season stats. Even though what's crazy is that they don't show, like, my players, I don't understand why. Like, look at Patrick Willis, 35 sacks. I just sent them on a blitz, and he... Would come in immediately. Like his speed, his pursuit angle is just so incredible. His block shed, he would come in screaming. I just sent him on a blitz and watched him do damage. So, like you notice, you know, Willis is 35 sacks. And then when I go to league leaders, we'll go to sacks and he doesn't show up. I, I don't know why it does that, but nonetheless, uh, let's go on ahead. And first of all, let's take a look at what we did as a unit. Uh, rushing. Again, man, uh, 91 attempts, man. That's really not too much. That's what? That's uh, way less than 10 a game. What? Uh, 8 and 10 would be 80. And then another 6 is, what, 48. So that, that's way more. We probably had, like, average, like, 5 carries a game or something like that. 5 or 6. I don't know. 
receiving. Gronkowski, almost 100 yards. I mean, 100 receptions. Over 1,000 yards receiving, which is good. Butler came through uh, late in the year. 51 receptions, almost 1,000 yards. Tavon Austin, almost 1,000 yards, 63 receptions. Des Bryant uh, was hurt. You know, he broke his clavicle or he, uh, his Maduba Obligata got misplaced. I don't know what happened with him, but uh, he missed uh, a lot of time. And when he was gone, Butler became like my new favorite target. So when he came back, I was still, you know, having a ball with Butler. DeMarco Murray, not so much. Momo really didn't do too much. Um, really didn't need him to, but uh, yards, you know, we got Gronkowski, Austin, Butler, uh, touchdowns, we have the bulk of them going to Gronkowski, and even though 36 reception, Des Bryant still had 8 touchdowns, Tavon Austin with 4, Butler with 3, Murray with 3, and Momo with 1, and uh, I think that's it for that, blocking, eh, that's not really too important, defense, league leader in tackles, on, as far as our team goes, I should say league leaders, Team leaders, Patrick Willis, 93 tackles, 35 of them via sack. Then we got Elam and Reed, our safeties, you know, did a very, very good job of making sure they're around the ball at all times. You know, your cornerback should not, you know, be top five in, in, uh, in your tackling. That just lets you know we give up a lot of passes. <laughs> so QB sacks, man, 35 for Willis, 15 for Elam. 11 for Mario Williams on the defensive line, which is incredible. I would just sit and dine, and, you know, if the pass coverage was good, eventually Mario Williams will come through 11 sacks, man. I would never expect me to have that many sacks with a defensive lineman. Kerrigan with 7, uh, Jordan with 5, Cody with 5, Shaboinkin with 2, Big old Stank Rogers with 2, Greenwood with 1, and Gillette with 1. Interceptions, D. Hall with 4, Elam with 3, Smith with 2, 1-1-1. One, one, one. Really didn't get too many uh, interceptions. We dropped way more than uh, we should have had. Let me see. Pass deflections. Yeah, look at all the drops. 10, 8. Uh, three, that's it. 3, 2, that's it. None of these deflections. Damn, we suck. We can't even bat the ball down. Force fumbles. We definitely had some. Patrick Willis with 4. Then we got Matt Elam with 3. You know, two of my hardest hitting guys. Sean Smith with 2. Williams, Eric Reed, and... Hanaka Maka Nuka Nora. Maka Nuka Nora. Fumble recoveries. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let me see. Block kicks. I don't think we got any block kicks. We blocked a couple of PATs, but that's about it. Defensive touchdowns. Patrick Willis with one. Elam, Reed, Williams, Kerrigan, and Shaboykin. I think with the uh, Vikings, I didn't have any, except in the playoff games. I think it was the Super Bowl, actually. I had a uh, pick six. Either it was that or the conference championship. I'm not sure. Games played, downs played. All right, that's all that. So now let's get into the league leaders. As you guys seen what we did as a team. Uh, okay, NFL. Let's get right into uh, passing. So your league leader in passing yards was Peyton Manning, uh, followed by Matt Schaub. And we, we were close. We were a couple hundred yards shy of being able to accomplish that. Um, the Vikings, I think I was like 30th or 31st in passing yards. So to have top three was definitely a big deal, you know, for me. So that was awesome. And we actually lead the league in touchdowns. That is correct, man. We threw more TDs than any other body. Now, it's crazy that there's only like 30. Like Peyton Manning threw like what, like 80 this year in real life? You know, um... Not too many high touchdown totals. You know, Tom Brady with two. There's nobody this year that averaged two a game. You know, the 16 games, you know, obviously times two is 32. So not a single quarterback averaged two passing touchdowns a game, which is crazy. Interceptions. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We, 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 I, that, I'm going to edit that out. <laughs> Time sack. Damn man Glennon. Damn man Glennon was getting murdered. All right. So rushing. Not like we have anything to contribute here, but Steven Jackson, the workhorse, 333 uh, carries followed by Dougie Doug, uh, Ray Rice, and Mike LaShore, Trent Richardson, basically everybody in my damn division, Steven Jackson, and then uh, Trent Richardson. And then isn't Reggie Bush in my division too? Okay, no, I'm wrong. Okay, rushing yards went to Marshawn the Beast. 17,000, close to 2,000. Then Trent Richardson, Reggie Bush, LaShawn McCoy, Doug Martin. Touchdowns. Who got the most touchdowns? LaShawn McCoy with 10. 
Then we got Dougie Dugs, then uh, Jackson Vereen, Helu Jr. So only one person this year in the NFL um, was able to get 10 touchdowns. Who fumbled the most? Damn, Ray Rice. Seven fumbles, though? Seven fumbles, though? Who got the longest run? Damn, Justin Forsett on the one-yard line ran a 99-yarder. That probably was against me. Matter of fact, these top five might just be all against me. <laughs> Receiving, you got Calvin Johnson, who just destroyed this year. 124, leads the league in receptions. Also leads the league in yards with uh, 1,700. Followed by Antonio Brown, Vincent Jackson, Brandon Marshall, Andre Johnson, Santana Moss, Wes Welker. Uh, touchdowns. Goes to big old Gronk with 12. And then Antonio Brown. And then uh, Calvin Johnson, Wes Welker. Calvin Johnson's a monster. Blocking. I think we were up there for like most pancakes. Yeah, my man, man, Booth. 14 pancakes. Downs played. You see, that's what I mean by, uh, you know, my time is almost half. Look at all these guys. 1,400. Almost everybody with 1,300, 1,200 downs. And here I am at 600. That's because I play half of the games. <laughs> well, not I play all the games, but it's half of the time, I should say. Defense, your lead leader in tackles is DJ Derek Johnson. The only one uh, eclipsing 150 tackles. All these guys, so many damn tackles, man. And Patrick Willis led my team with, what, 70? Right? Didn't he have like 70 or something like that? You see what I mean? Sacks, he's not going to show up. I don't know why, but it goes to Pierre Paul. Even uh, Mario Williams with his 11. Like, nobody from my team shows up. I, I don't know why it does that. If anybody knows why, please let me know. I would uh, appreciate it. Interceptions went to Stephen Gilmore. Stephon Gilmore. Patrick Peterson. Brandon Browner. Big 6 fall ass. Malcolm Jennings with four. D'Amico Ryans, Keekly. You know, Patrick Willis also has four, but again, he just doesn't show up. I don't know why. Kicking. Uh, who kicked him? I know we kicked a ton of field goals this year. Look at that. I kicked 38 field goals. I kicked so many field goals. That's bad. That just lets you know that uh, I get stopped way too often in the red zone. 92%. We got a couple people with 100. Actually, no, just really one. One for one don't really count. Who kicked the longest, though? Does it show longest? It doesn't? Okay, I think uh, we have the most touchbacks. No, every time we kicked the ball, it was a damn touchback. This is... Oh, I'm, I'm not showing up. Every time I kicked the ball, it was a damn touchback. Punting? Yeah, we don't really... So that's it, man. That's the end of the stats, the year awards, all that other fun stuff, man. Uh, we're going to go on ahead and uh, get started on the playoffs soon again. Follow me on Twitch, guys. Link is in the description. I will be live streaming the playoffs live. Hopefully, I can make a run to the Super Bowl. If not, oh well. <laughs> I did uh, come to a decision that um, I will be doing a new draft at the end of the year. Majority of people want it uh, a new draft. So, at the end of this year, we will be doing a new draft. And I think that's going to be the last draft. I think whatever I draft or whoever I draft, I think that's the team I'm going to stay with and try and build from there. So I'm going to try and, you know, grab some young players and continue the franchise. But uh, the Cardinals franchise will be no more after this uh, season. We will go on ahead and um, move on to a new draft. So that's the end of the video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, look out for that divisional playoff game tomorrow. Uh, that's it, man. Love each and every single one of you guys, man. Hope you guys you know, enjoyed uh, the series. Uh, I love, 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 love the franchise, man. I, I get into it, like, heavily, and I, I just have a ball playing it. So, uh, one, I thank you guys for requesting it, you know, as bad as you guys did. I, I never thought I would have fun playing I say this throughout the season. I never thought I would have fun playing it, but I enjoy it so much, and I truly, um, you know, thank you guys for wanting me to play it, and I'm glad that it finally happened because uh, I enjoy this more than Mutt. I enjoy it more than... You know, ranked matches, I just enjoy it so much. And I thank you guys for wanting me to play it. And, again, I'm, I'm glad uh, uh, it happened. So, uh, that's it, man. Appreciate you guys, you know, sticking through the franchise. It's your boy GS. I'm out. Peace.